Hey everyone, today we're talking about click type style torque wrenches and more specifically how to test and also calibrate your click style torque wrench. So most of all my torque wrenches are Pittsburgh torque wrenches because I learned way early when I was buying these things. The first one I bought I was like, oh man, I want to spend a bunch of money on it and I'm going to get the best one I can buy at the time and uh, it's going to be awesome. No, click style torque wrenches. Uh, go out of spec literally just through shipping so it doesn't matter if you buy a super high dollar one or if you buy a very inexpensive one no matter what you should test your torque wrenches assumably you're using them for precision work and they need to be precise so we'll go into a minute uh, how to calibrate these but it's actually pretty straightforward and uh, really inexpensive if you know this cool little trick we're going to show you Okay, so the cool trick to uh, calibrate your click type torque wrench is go on Amazon and buy one of these things. This is a uh, luggage scale for luggage when you're going on an airplane. And what's cool about it, it's got this little strap and you just pull on it and it'll tell you how much pounds of pressure you're actually putting on this thing. Um, we did test this and calibrate it. <clears throat> well, we didn't calibrate it, we just tested it. We put a 25 pound plate weight on it and it came in at exactly 25 pounds. So we know this is accurate. Now what you do to first test uh, to ensure that your, uh, your foot pounds are set correctly is you have to measure one foot down from the center to the end of this. Now I've already measured this before the video and I know one foot is exactly where uh, the silver grip meets the lock nut. So I can just put my strap right there. If um, you have one that's longer, just mark it and make sure you're doing it at the one foot mark. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to test it. And the best way to do this just for accuracy is to do it three times, two to three times. Just make sure you're not, you know, jerking on it or anything like that. And you want to just take it slow. So right now I have this torque wrench set and locked in at 20 foot pounds. So let's see where it gets. Okay, that was 17.9. About 17.7. And right at 18. So I'm about two and a half to two pounds shy of this actually being accurate 20 foot pounds. Okay, so to adjust your torque wrench, super simple. All you gotta do, is uh, unloosen your lock screw, unscrew your handle all the way down until it's loose, until it's just like that, and then while holding the handle, undo the locking screw here. So I've had mine undone a few times, so mine's pretty loose, but you might need a pair of pliers, something like that. And then inside, you'll see there's a a uh, threaded tube in there and that's actually what sets your torque setting so this is one of those best guess type things and I really don't know I, I can't really tell you one way or the other how many threads it takes to make up 10 foot pounds of torque but we're just going to screw it in a little in is tighter or uh, higher torque settings out is lower torque settings so we'll screw it in I'll say that and uh, we'll test it again Yep, we got it set to 20 foot pounds of torque. And uh, we'll test it on this little scale one more time. Oh man, that was like 20.2. We were right there. again that was like 19.8 I'm gonna pull one more time see if I can do it really slow yep 
yeah, it was 20.1 and it clicked actually right on 20. So just happens eventually I got it set perfect on the first go. Uh, but if you don't, that's fine. Just keep running through it until you're happy with your torque settings. Also, I recommend doing it at, this is a uh, up to 80 pound torque wrench. So um, on this one, I would do it at 20, 40. And if you really want to 70 or 80, just make sure that there isn't any variance. But that's how you set click type torque wrench.